Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent. Today I'd like to talk about Blade Singers, which is a wizard subclass in 5th edition D&D and a prestige class in 3rd edition. Blade Singing is part of the Forgotten Realms. While your dungeon master might allow you to be a Blade Singing wizard of any race, traditionally it is unique to elves and the Forgotten Realms campaign setting. Welcome to the channel. I make lore videos on the world of Dungeons and Dragons. If you're interested in the various campaign settings of D&D, I'd love to have you subscribe. If you are seeking more information about the worlds of D&D to enhance your character at the table, or just looking for a cool city or region to use as your background, please subscribe and check out some of my numerous playlists. Blade singing is an elvish tradition. It is a blended art of sword play and arcane magic. In elven society, these warriors are well respected, serving as guardians or champions of elf communities. There isn't really a blade singer school. If you wish to become a blade singer, you must find another blade singer to teach you. In second edition, blade singers were devoted to a chosen weapon and they could never learn another one. But in fifth edition D&D, you are able to wield other one-handed weapons with which you are proficient. Most blade singers work alone sometimes joining with other blade singers to take down a powerful foe threatening the elvish way of life. Those who can see a blade singer actually battling will never forget the sight. They gracefully move through chaos and blood. It's a dance really, with magic and swordplay intermingling effortlessly. They are almost casual in combat. Elves are very suited for wizardry, and it makes sense that their magical practice would find its way into their fighting style. At its core, the blade song reflects a martial art, and it is primarily a defensive style. This allows for magical attacks and spells to be used and maintained in combat. The song of the blade song is the gentle sound of the sword cutting through the air as the elf dances. The economy of movement is a large factor in this elvish tradition. At times, the movement can seem misleadingly slow, which allows overconfident enemies to let down their guard. A blade singer is not about force or smashing blows. Their sword and magic guide them as they gently defeat their foe. It should be noted that a multi-class fighter wizard is not considered a blade singer. The elven blade singers have their own art and it must be learned from a master blade singer. Blade singers are found in Cormanthir and Evermeet. On Evermeet, they are organized into small warrior lodges, each specializing in a different weapon. Evermeet itself is a well-protected island off the Sword Coast. And if you're interested in that, there is a video on it. Click on the top right corner or in the description below. These elves tattoo themselves with runes and each group of blade singers have a special symbol that they also get as a tattoo. Blade singers have been part of the Forgotten Realms for a very long time. During the Arcane Age, they were magical knights that protected Mithdranor. They specialized in defense against magical monsters such as demons and dragons. There are ancient texts that call out blade singing tactics that are still utilized today. Half elves could potentially become blade singers, but only because of their elvish blood. No other race has been allowed to learn this magical practice outside of elves. One of the more notable blade singers was Josediah Starim. Born in 101 DR, he was a noble in the Empire of Cormanthir. He served on the Council of Twelve as the Spell Major, which is a position obtained by selection from a magical sword known as the Art Blade. The Art Blade is an elven artifact that was created with elven high magic. There were three swords created, the War Blade, the Ruler's Blade, and the Art Blade way back in negative 4000 DR. These blades helped the elves establish ruling families, with the Art Blade choosing the next spell major. Think of it like the sword in the stone. The magic of the blade knows if you are worthy or not. The art blade was sadly lost in 450 DR by the spell major Zaus Durothil while battling a red dragon. The blade was replaced by another created by a human wizard, but let's be honest, that would never do in the long term. Josediah embarked on a famous quest to retrieve another different sword, there's so many swords, but came back with the art blade instead. The blade choosing him, he took the position on the Council of Twelve and wielded the blade with his blade song skills. The blade itself was black as night and shaped like a tangible black void, outlined in a crimson streak, which is the source of the blade's light. It creates a sharp buzzing sound when swung and cackles like lightning when drawn. Uh, okay, stop, stop, stop it. It's a lightsaber, is, isn't it? We Can we all just admit that the, the art blade is a, it's a lightsaber. I, uh. The art blade was destroyed, sadly. In 1714 DR, during the Weeping War and the destruction of Mithranor, the blade was consumed. Josediah sacrificed himself to break the army of Yugoloth storming the city of Mithranor, 
he cast a spell that took out most of the demons in pure white flame, but when the flames died, there was no sign of Josadiah or the art blade. Perhaps it could make an appearance in your game, appearing to your player the chosen to be the spell major. There are some stats and information on the three elf blades in the 3.5 book Lost Empires of Faerun. However, if you wish to bring blade singing into your game, using these swords might make a good plot point. These characters are not busy with tomes or unlocking spells. They look for defensive and useful magic. They understand that fear leads to anger and anger leads to hate and hate leads to suffering. The Bladesinger ally is the weave and a powerful ally it is. Never underestimate the weave and focus on the lights. Damn it, they're Jedi. They're Jedi. The Bladesingers are Jedi. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like and subscribe and share this video with your gaming group. I've got loads of other lore videos, so check out my playlist and I look forward to reading your comments. I'll see you all in the next video.